Hello YouTube, Steve Truck here. Uh, welcome to what's today's date? Actually, I should know that. It's a start shift, which is da, 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 Thursday the 16th of May. Today is going to be a daily vlog, and I do apologise. I'm going to put a Facebook message out, maybe even a channel update video or notification video, just to apologise that I've had no content, well, I did have content to release this week, but I just had no time on the weekend to edit it all out. So I do deeply apologise about that, but just, you know, I've been mental this weekend, as, as I said on the prior video, that uh, I'm in the process Of selling, selling a property at the moment, which uh, involves a lot of moving parts, and it's getting to that stage that we're just making sure that the final things are all lined up. You know, I've got stuff to do next weekend, the weekend after that as well, but hopefully, it's not quite as mental. Maybe next weekend as well, but who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, so where are we off to today, you're asking? Well, we're off down to Silvertown. To go to a very well-known uh, manufacturer down there. If you're a trucker, you may know who I'm talking about. We're going to collect some glucose, which that might narrow it down. And we're going to go and take it to Bent Waters, which used to be an RAF station, which happened to be actually a, mil a US Air Force base. It's actually a pretty cool site. If, if the weather's good when we're over there, I meant to do this last time I was over there, so the weather was good, I sort of kicked myself for why I didn't do it. But uh, let's take a picture of the truck by the uh, US, because it's still got quite a lot of the original uh, stuff in the airbase there, which is cool. There's also a museum there, covering the Cold War. So, yeah, so that's exciting. So we're going over to our main yard today because uh, the trailer's due for MOT. So, I've been told to do this job over there to get me over there, then take the trailer to go and basically these sort of trailers to have a new trailer till this one gets MOT and I'll get this one back because we keep our trailers in our fleet you know so, which is not a common thing a lot of general haulage companies you have a fleet of trailers and you know you you'll go through them you might have the same one now and again or have the same one for a few days but you know, generally you don't have a trailer that is exactly yours, you know, in terms of your responsibility and, you know, in some ways, you know, that, that's why some of the fleets, not saying all fleets, but uh, some of the fleets do get beat up because some of the drivers don't really care about other trailers. They don't fully realise they could have that in a few weeks if they don't leave it with what you need in it. But oh well, as I say, it's nice to have your own trailers, you can put your own mark on it. I mean, I haven't really, I haven't really done too much to it myself, so I wash it. <laughs> and I try and keep, keep it clean as best as I can, but in our work it's pretty hard. So it's a keep on top of it. Uh, also, what did I do on the weekend? I actually found some time and polished, started professionally polishing the tanks. I'm not saying I haven't been polishing it before. But what I've done, I got my uh, drill and I bought, it only cost me like 15 quid to get like a, well, a two bit drill set that converts your drill into a polisher, effectively. It basically gives you a polishing head to stick in your drill, which then acts like a polisher. Maybe not as good as a proper polisher, but I don't have access to mains, I don't have a portable generator which, you know, leads to some issues on that front. So I've tried that out, sort of 
got a bit of feedback on my private Facebook account. <laughs> One of my friends come up and said, uh, shoot me ears, don't go, no! <laughs> you nig, <laughs> or you newbie. By the way, if you're on what Nick means, it means new in garrison. It comes from army speak, so any of you vets out there or serving, you may know. <laughs> but that's, I just thought I'd just clarify that before anybody goes, oh, pulls a card out or something. <laughs> so I have clarified myself what that means. So yeah, so all good. I mean, this is my Monday. This is my start of shift. I actually need to go and get a coffee because I've not had. Normally, I'll pop into the Mucky D's and Woot in or the garage, or I'll just make something at home. And that reminds me, I forgot my my um, travel mug. I might have one, a spare one, lurking around the camp somewhere. We'll see. So yeah, so we're all good. So what time are we on now? Six minutes or so. So hopefully today, it's going to be a lot of motorway bit, so I'm not going to vlog... I might vlog a bit of the motorway section, so I'll either be continuing on after this to Silvertown, or I might do it up towards Bentwaters to a time that's up there which actually might make more sense doing it that way round. Then we'll see where the day goes from there. You know, I'll commit the yard for us, day falls off where. So I would like a little bit of opportunity to wash the truck though. But we'll see. I don't know if I'll bother with the train. I might leave that down to the yard staff to wash it for your tea. <laughs> But if I can wash down the tractor unit, get a good one two over, it's always good. Yeah, so I managed to get a bit of a polish on the weekend. What else did I do on the weekend? Obviously, you stuff the flat, some admin. I did actually pop out the bike as well. I know you could argue, oh, why well, didn't you use that time to edit the video? It was a really nice day yesterday, and yeah, it was sort of like I had to decide between going, polishing the tank, going out on the bike, and doing the video editing, and I had to sacrifice one thing. I did try to fit in the video editing, trust me I did, but I just wasn't vivid at that stage of the day, you know, it was just like, I'm tired, I want to go to bed. Because of a uh, not really ultra early get up, it's only what? 5.35 at the mo. It's quite a little bit late song shift, only about 10 past 5 started, so yeah. Was aiming to start for 5, but uh, you know, 10 minutes. <laughs> well, to be honest, I was probably there at 5, but I didn't cock on to about 10 past. So, come on, make your mind up. These lights can be a pain. Sandwiched by two trucks, which ain't cool. It's interesting how the lights work sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing comes and just one guard comes after a while and the can still go but the huge amount of traffic come on. It's being a way that will trap on the left because that's uh, I think how a tenant well not saying they're bad drivers, it's just you know <laughs> big company drivers I'm a little like bit wary of wary, shall I say. Some cases for good cause. Especially when they come up on the inside and then start moving off as you're moving uh, off on the outside. Yeah, Which, yeah, fair enough. You know, you can do, there's nothing necessarily wrong, but normally in that scenario, if I was the inside truck and there was a truck in the middle lane there, I would just hang back a wee bit, or vice versa. Whoever was first at the line, 
Bishop simultaneously first in mind, and yeah, you got an issue. But fundamentally, I do like to try and give whoever is more likely to move off first, give them a lick of into space. So we had the truck in the light, but it was further back. In some ways, he was holding off a wee bit. So I think some truckers forget about the movement, you know, <laughs> the one, but I know he was turning left as well, but that's why I think he's our tense driver, because it looked like the trailers as well. Not saying they're bad company or anything like that, don't get me wrong, it's on not, you know, it's only because I know, because I have done work for them in the past. Which it might be one of my old company, there she flashed it, never mind. Yeah, so we're all good. What I'll do, I'll pass you off in a minute onto a time lapse and I'll probably see you a bit later. So there's not much more to report except for a bit cheese off myself because I haven't at least got one video out this week. But, you know, you know I was busy, you know. I know, yes, I could have maybe squeezed it in, but it's still got to be fun for me, you know, to do. And I don't burn myself out just because of, you know, staying up a bit too late and more tired in the morning. And, uh, you know, the way, way things out in life sometimes. It is a thing when YouTube, it is a band that you got to meet because it's not as simple as it may look. You know, to produce a reasonably good video, it takes time. I have to trim down the video, or I have to watch it all to make sure I'm happy with it. You know, if I'm not happy with it, I don't release it. Because I've done quite a few uh, recordings last week, in which I'm sure I could have used a few of them easy enough. I probably wouldn't have had time to do them all anyway. But there may be one or two in there that I would go, actually, I'll scrap that. You know, <laughs> move on. And the video editing itself takes up a huge amount of time. One solution to get around it a little bit is, in the future, is to get a powerful enough laptop that I can edit in the truck. But, you know, I'll be looking at easily over grand, like two grand probably realistically, for a decent one. Let alone if we look at Apple. <laughs> I mean, Apple do create some good uh, editing laptops, but... There is actually good Microsoft ones out there, which I'll probably more like to look at, which will save a lot more money. But that's later on in the year, probably. You know, not this, not during the summer. I just, you know, as I've got a hold of it in the month, I've got a lot of stuff on at the moment. You know, certainly on the financial front. It's all weighing out what I need, what I don't need, what can I wait for. Say we're changing my motorbike out. That's having that to hold at the moment to after, not necessarily fully after the summer, but after the bulk of all days. Yeah, so I will catch you very shortly. We have to obviously a time lapse, and then we'll have a natter. Then we'll see the look of it.
done our delivery down at Bent Waters. We're just uh, crawling back now. Not that, it's just out about a half a mile down the road from the uh, what used to be the old uh, US Air Force Base, or otherwise known as RAF Bent Water, which is now a big industrial park. But still got a lot of the original old buildings there, which uh, personally I find slightly fascinating. Sure. Yes, we are recording. That was a bit of a bright day today, so it's hard to tell if the front camera's recording or not. I accidentally left it running earlier while I was doing my time lapse. <laughs> Lucky I sort of remembered and went, oh, I did turn it off. Yeah, so good delivery, good connection. A bit short on the connection, so it's not a drama, but they didn't have any more product for us, so. We could do much about that, and the boss said roll with it, so we rolled with it. So keeping it fairly down, because it's really dusty, but you can't really do too much about the dust. Unless you're getting like one or two miles an hour, but you won't get anywhere then. Yeah, I was going about 20 on the way in, I had a cyclist telling me to slow down. Like, <laughs> this is on the uh, well, it's 30 all the way down. Was it 20? It's 20 all the way down anyway, so I was doing the speed limit. You know, what was assigned by the road workers. So they can't really... Can't, oh, I suppose it is a cyclist for you. Never mind. It is what it is. Maybe you thought I was going a lot faster than I actually was. And, you know, but I just don't like it because it's a distraction. <laughs> It's like waving his hands around the place like in the slowdown symbol and, you know. Never mind, never mind. There's always nutters out in the road. Yeah, I, I find it really, I find Bent Water fascinating though going in there because like there's so much of the original building still there and being used as well. You know, so it's not like they're neglected, it's just you know, we go on some old military sites and a lot of it's been knocked down or, you know, completely unrecognisable to how it used to be. And you go into that, I'm not saying isn't unrecognisable, obviously it would have been a bit more grander in the day. Obviously with all the fighter jets in there and all that. Or whoever flew out there from the US. But yeah, I, I just find stuff like that fascinating. So I took a cheeky picture of the truck in front of the uh, the old uh, Bentwater sign. <laughs> oh, we have Bentwater sign with the uh, US flag and the British boy, Atlantic flag, what they call it. Atlantic Command flag, whatever, whatever it's called. So, going a good good day so far. We're going back to our main yard, so we'll uh, get there. Hopefully, we might be able to give the truck a little bit of a wash. But I'm going to have to change probably all my kit across because that's how they like it off my current trailer onto the other one. And yeah, deep joy, deep joy. And you might think, oh, what kit? But with tankers, we've got pipes, connections, you know, I've got my blue stuff in there. Buckets. Uh, I mean, it doesn't sound like much, but it is quite a lot of stuff. You know, you've got multiple sets of hoses, loads of connections, and plus the trailer, most likely I'll be receiving, I'll have to transplant that stuff onto my trailer and vice versa. It's just saying the boss likes doing, because uh, you know, some drivers go through connections like they're going out of fashion. And it costs money at the end of the day, so now the policy is you swap your stuff over. Plus, also, you know it works as well. But it is kind of good just to move stuff out every so often, anyway. But we're all good. I 
and that's probably one of the negatives of having our own dedicated trailers. <laughs> you know, certainly being out based. Now, I'm not complaining, it is what it is. As long as there's not a massive rush when they get in the yard and panicked out saying, oh, you need to get such and soon as you can. Because then that panics me out going, ah, <laughs> need to get shifting. Pick it up a smidge. If we drop it down shortly. Yeah, so that was a good collection or delivery even. Uh, yeah, it's one of my favourite deliveries, that one, for obvious reasons. And I find, you know, going on to old MOD sites fascinating sometimes, especially you know, after serving as well. You, know, you can't you kind of go on the site and you know what each building is almost. You know, well, that was probably that, that was probably this. You know, that was probably the ammo bunkers. You know, well, some of it's obvious. Well, you know, maybe it's obvious to me, but <laughs> maybe not to other people. Who knows, who knows, who knows. I probably should have filmed on that in a bit of there, but uh, I thought I'd better play it safe and I may as well. It's not exactly in the mood for filming there, but I, didn't want, well, I suppose I could have done it in a way that you wouldn't have seen our customer. I I could have done it on the way out. But never mind. But at least I got a picture of the truck, the uh, bedboard, so I've been meaning to do that for a little while. I was good it last time I was there, but sort of not chickened out, I was like, I need to get cracking. I said the plan is back to the yard, see you, then I'll see what happens from there. I mean, I'm sorry if it's a bit vague today. This is sometimes how transport can be like, you know, you do not know sometimes what you're doing further down the line. It's not like a nine to five job that you know what well, I'll be finished at such and such. You know, in this job, good luck. <laughs> you know, you, you never know when you'll be finished. You could be finished early, you could be finished late, who knows? You might be finished bang on time for 13 or bang on time for 15. Some motorbike, I was wondering what that he was moving around to sort of top of his head. I was like, What's that? <laughs> it's a motorbike. Yeah. Just keep an eye on him. Scoot well, but same, more or less, similar sort of thing. No, somebody will tell me off, even though I'm a biker myself, but still on two wheels. Yeah, so. Da -da -da. What I need to do, I might do a quick video either tonight or tomorrow. I'll see how I feel. I might do a quick video on my phone just to apologise about lack of content this week. You know, I do feel a bit, you know, not down, but a bit. I could have, or well, should have tried, made a bit more time, but it is what it is. And as I said, I don't want to thrash myself at the end of the day, you know, and don't burn myself out. Needs off to So we've just got the drag back to the A14 over to base Edmonds and yards near there so that's where we're roughly heading anyway and we're sort of around Ipswich at the moment that sort of area give it a take if I see where we're coming to over the pay much attention to the place I'm precisely in 
after 300 yards. Go left on the roundabout. First exit. Just a bit of over. So yeah, so this is like Go a typical start of the week for me in some way. Not necessarily typical. This is a semi a bit like a treat in the way to come over here. So it can mean I'll have, or sometimes means I can have quite an interesting week. Sometimes. Not always. It tends to be I'll get back over and do the normal stuff. But on the other occasion I'll go back over with uh, molasses and we could then go do some more stuff in molasses from o o back over on the west which can lead to some quite interesting deliveries which makes me wonder did i release that tight load video I've got a sneaky feeling i haven't i need to go back from my videos and check on that one because if not i think i might have that in my archive We'll have to check because that was a good video. But certainly, if I do have a voiceover on it, I otherwise talk about tight loads could be another option. We'll see. That's reminded me because uh, that was more of the deliveries I had from doing all that. Uh, just get past Mr. Tractor where well, we can. We're clear, back in. Definitely all clear. Just the just round the ring road. Yards. Cross the roundabout. Second exit. Yeah, we've bridged all the way at the moment. Basically, we're on next door to Ipswich, more or less, on the map, give or take. So, what I'll do, I'll pass you off Cross and we'll probably have a time Second lapse sometime. Exit soon probably not on route towards but I'll see how I feel or it'll be an outro one or the two right obviously after the time that's will be the outro bit but hopefully we have a time lapse and then the outro bit but we'll see as I said go to the yard is a mystery uh, sort of wide of what's going on Sometimes I need you to get cracking with something straight away or as soon as you can. You know, I don't personally as a driver I don't like to take the mic. You know, if possible. You know, try to get on on with the work. You know, no matter how much I may want to wash the truck or you know. Also I'll get anything that's really important to be done, done. Yeah, so I'll catch you in a few seconds or so. See you in a little bit. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. Too much. 
So we basically went back to the yard, then we went up to uh, the place south of Kings Lynn, loaded and got a bit down here to head across. We should be at the customer around 8.30ish. So yeah, we're doing good. We have to move over in a second. Nice fast heavy goods vehicle there. Who's doing a lot faster than 40? Yeah, and I had a quick little talk about dangerous driving. So we've had a few car drivers this morning who seem to be doing their own thing, you know, doing reckless driving as usual. You know, all the normal things <laughs> that we have to deal with as heavy goods drivers, normal frustrations, even early in the morning. Which I was a bit surprised about, but oh well. I suppose my bits are tray four seven. So after eight hundred yards, you know, no, they don't know any time. Time knows no bounds. I'm sorry about this, guys. It's it's frustrating as a drive of any sort. You know, when you have to deal with people who do reckless overtakes, one done an overtake on coming vehicle very close up, which I had to take. Keyboard. Not like the other week, we had to slam on. But. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, I did have to take some action because it was that close. But to be honest, I sort of look at it, it is the fault, but I will try my best not to be involved in an accident or to try and resolve it as long as I don't put anybody else at risk, etc., 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 let alone myself. Especially if it's not my fault. <laughs> What are you doing? 
yeah so we're all good I'm just going through the fun works at the moment as you may or maybe know you can't see I haven't turned my fun cam on so basically along A14 through the roadworks near Huntington sort of way around there just before we get to Peterborough sort of area well we're around that sort of area as well so if you know where the roadworks is on the A14 that's where we are heading west Northwest, then to the southwest. <laughs> Northwest to southwest. Yeah, so if you're a follower on this trip, I've done this not that long ago on my east to west video, so check that one out because I'm not going to vlog all the way to Bristol. I will call it a day in a few minutes' time because I know I've got a sneaky suspicion the camera's going to freeze again. I have no idea why it's freezing, it is a bit frustrating, especially on an expensive camera like this. But it is what it is. I might change it out later this year if it carries on doing this sort of thing, because it ain't cool. Or isn't cool. And it is a bit frustrating when I've had to do three takes because of it. So, never mind. I did have frontal footage on the last two, but I haven't bothered with this one, so it <laughs> did jam up my main camera, my frontal camera too much. Yeah, so thank you very much for watching yesterday's vlog, which is from today as well. I do apologise, I just got parts up last night and was just like, grab some tea and bed. I was in that sort of mood. I was going to get a laptop out and transfer everything as well, I was meaning to do that, but, uh, you know, it is what it is, you know, we go with the flow, and I do apologise, I haven't released anything this week, you know, I might do a quick thing on the phone this weekend, maybe, we'll see, we'll see how I feel, we'll see how busy we are as well, where we're about to be are. So I would like to say a massive thank you to all my recent, well not just my recent subscribers, just all my subscribers, you know, it, it is seriously appreciated, and to everybody who watches the channel, likes the content, you know, also comments, thank you very much, you know, I do appreciate the comments, um, also if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing, it will seriously be appreciated, as I keep saying all the time. <laughs> Also hit that bell, bell icon as well if you happen to ready for reminders of future content. It's always handy. Yeah, so I'm sorry if it's I did do our outro yesterday. I said I was got loaded and I was just like go not point to the lynching park at that second, but we drove about half an hour and then parked up. Also. So I'll catch you in the next vlog. Also check out my Facebook and my Twitter. And that'll be about it. I'll see you, as I said, in the next one. Hoover and out.